नमस्कार माय नेम इज संदीप मित्रा आई एम वर्किंग इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री एंड द एमईपी डोमेन फॉर द लास्ट 20 इयर्स एंड फ्रॉम माय एक्सपीरियंस एंड लर्निंग्स व्हाट आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट ऑल द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंजीनियर्स मेनली द एमईपी इंजीनियर्स इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर इफ दे विल फॉलो सम सिस्टम some structure system so it will help them to grow fast in their career why i am creating this system because i was gone through this construction industry so long time and i have realized that this sector is not a structured it is not well organized it's a totally un- unorganized sector most of the construction companies most of the construction job not properly constructed not follow the step by step process and the management not only the professional not only the technical managerial personal management professional management and the project management this entire it should be uh, connected with all the dots then only a project can be completed within time within budget and it's a man management to say so i have seen the managers project managers are there but most of the managers most of the project managers the project directors they are not the actual leaders because project manager should be a leader a manager should be a leader so that he can play like a mentor or a coach so that he can guide their subordinate as well as connected with the top management so it's a combinations of everything uh i realize we there is some lacuna is there in this particular field so why not i share what my thoughts what my challenges i faced in my career and my learnings also because i have experience 20 years in this field but i also felt that that is not sufficient that is the reason i have started many great people in the world i have read many autobiography of the successful people and read many managerial uh, management books so then i realized that those people have written and given the good inputs why not we can follow all those inputs at least if we can follow 10% 20% it can change our life and that is the reasons i gone through all the books i have taken uh, uh knowledge from some of the great people and that is the reason i am all the connected collected all the knowledge and my experience and make a model and that model name is p2p it's a, it's a potential to prosperity where i can uh, teach you i cannot teach anything to you it is you need to discover and you need to develop yourself only because you have lots of knowledge only thing is that you need to uh, connect the dots so very 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 simple like right? connect a proper circuit so that light will on if circuit is not connected properly definitely it will not get get the end results so that is the reason it has been created and i will share all the details mm. what do you have to do just go through i have given a one small uh, summary related to project management mep project management just go through that and if you think that it is it will help you and you want to get more details because what summary i have given that is only maybe 1% or 2% okay you will not get all the data from there all the inputs all the knowledge okay and that is not only the mep project management it's a part of the mep project management the mep system will cover the mep system each and every system like electrical elv plumbing hvc and fire fighting system major systems although i'll share my experience in the different different airports so airport systems and all you'll get many things and the personal management how to uh, crack introduce also some guideline i have given and 
uh, you will get that all the life skills how to be confident how to change your mindset how to be patient become a patient how to become happy continuously so it's just, that also is required that also is required to become a great project manager or a great leader so hope you just enjoy this summary and if you want to go through the next level and if you want to go to the next uh, become a great project manager or a great character great manager then connect with me in description box the details is there find it uh, that uh, you need to connect with me so that i will discuss with you in one to one call and if you get uh, some values from me then you think about yourself and you can go to the next level and it's very easy just follow the system and structure definitely you will achieve your goal so here the mep project management it has been segregated in five parts the initial phase planning execution phase testing and the closure phase so okay. out of this there is a multiple sub weddings are there so i need to go through each and everything okay so that okay. way like i just give you one brief uh, like initial phase we'll go to initiation what is initiation out of initiation what are the things we'll cover okay this visible now my uh, what is <laughs> initiation the initiate initiating process group there is a planning process group there is a multiple sections are there even though the initial initiating process group also having different okay. different segment so that way it has been created okay so okay. one by one if i go through this entire section so it will take more than 4 hours right so if you see there is an initial phase then it is it will be covered with the initiation then tender phase then we'll go to the bidding technical bidding commercial bidding site survey work permit and government clearance and the initial planning so all will okay. be covered under the initial phase same way we'll go to the planning phase planning then design phase we'll go to the procurement phase contract management risk management so all all will cover the different different uh, sub segments so that will okay. be under planning same okay. way we will go to the execution phase also which is a much bigger one uh, i will cover okay. more in this execution part also okay. you will get uh, what is the project forecast forecasting your project what are the project deliverables documentation what are the documents you need to uh, okay. take take care right you know many things but it it will be in get in a one page so okay. what is the instruction methodology what are the instructions so there is a instruction what are the checklist what is mir idr so all related to the project deliverables then okay. all the execution phase will cover that project uh, deliverables management you will see now this this these are the things and project execution management reconciliations regarding reconciliations also many things i have done project audit billing yes, accounts then uh in bit this trackers so multiple trackers are there if you go through see how many trackers it is more than that okay so what are the trackers need to take care what is the tracker you need to look after like design tracker procurement tracker okay this po what what a tracker when no contract subcontract tracker the so many trackers are there then i'll cover dpr daily progress and the different different meeting this is work weekly meeting monthly meeting okay uh management review meeting what are the moms okay. normally we are forming so all will be covered under the execution phase then some of the things will come under the testing phase also tnc fat ke out the sat side acceptance test all those things okay then we will come to the closure phase so that way the, you will get the overview of the entire project after okay. that after that i will tell you some of some of the more presentations i have prepared related to individual uh package wise like electrical package i'll give you one example about the entire electrical package uh, so whenever you will go through where you will get uh, all the details related to electrical at least uh, you you can understand uh major five uh this systems electrical plumbing fire fighting uh, hvac and elv systems right 
so that i will cover here also okay just i'll show you uh here if you see we will understand about uh, from electrical project management point of view we first understand okay. what is electrical system then okay project management in electrical system right so we'll cover yes. entire electrical system here uh, i'll give you a model uh, a, a or a example of one of my project previous project okay but okay. normally what are the things we we'll follow okay in basic electrical distribution systems that will be covered okay if you see all the okay. slides are prepared accordingly so all will be covered even though i'll show some of the photographs about my previous projects or details so if you don't know the entire system then how will manage the system that is the thing so i'm giving yes, the uh, one projects as a model all the details about the electrical system hvc system uh, fire fighting system and i will show the management project manager how to do how to execute right if you see all all the slides are there so i'll cover with all the people other people also otherwise there is no use actually yes, so then then i will tell you the what is the sequence of flow of the already i i covered all the things uh, in that overall project management system that as i told and shown you earlier okay then i'll go through go through one by one what is the role and this is a model basically okay mep project management what few concept if you see here what i'm showing here that what type of work or job in the project management there is a four quadrant i am very much uh, following this four quadrant process okay if you understand okay. this four four quadrant uh, you would need to understand what is the type of job and what is your role as a mep professional whatever you are maybe maybe you are electrical engineer or you are mep uh, looking after the entire mep activities or you may look after the as a mep manager or whatever your role right and what you need to learn uh, to become a master of that particular subject and implement it now wherever you are right now in the project whatever company you are working you have to how to implement there and make a note for the next project so that is the process basically okay what type of work it is okay. like i'm giving one example like tender tender and bidding you need to understand what is tender and bidding okay yes sir sir yesterday i completed it yeah. ha then what is your role in tender and bidding maybe you are not directly involved with tender yes, bidding right you are a yes, uh, execution side or you are in the maybe procurement side or the design side so what is your role that you need to understand and okay. then what are the things you need to learn okay what are the things you need to learn and how to implement so that is the process for each and every it will be very easy to understand also 